Okay, now we are looking at question 20 from the AQ AQA paper, uh, and I believe it's the 2010 paper. Let me just uh, double check that again. All right, so um, it says that it's the linear paper, paper 2, and uh, calculator paper. It doesn't actually say the date, but I know that it's 2010. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at question 20 and see how we can answer that question. All right. Now, question 20 is an A star topic or A or A star topic, and it's to do with probability. So the question says two ordinary six dice. Side, sided dice are used in a game. One dice is fair, the other is biased, so which means that it's unfair. And the probability of throwing a six with the biased dice is p. And the two dice are thrown, and the probability of getting exactly one six is seven out of nine. When you're doing that sort of problem, what you need to do is split it up into two parts. First of all, you have to fill up the tree diagram. And once you fill that up, then use the information to work out the second part. All right, so let's fill up the tree diagram first. Now we know for a fact when we have a fair dice, the chances of getting a six is one out of six. And so the probability of not getting a six must be five out of six because We've got five sides that can't be a six. Now let's take a look at the bias dice. And if we read the question properly, it says that the probability of getting a six on the bias dice is P. And it's written right at the top. Okay. So we also know for a fact the total probability of an event to occur is adds up to one. So, if I want to find the probability of not getting a 6 on the biased dice, I'm going to do 1 take away P. Now, on the second part of your tree diagram, you're going to have exactly the same thing. So, Whenever you're doing a question on tree diagrams, the second part of the tree diagram is exactly the same thing as the first part. So here I'm going to write 1 minus p as well. Okay, now we've done the first part, which was this. Now what we need to do is use the second part of the question and answer the first part of the question, which is asking me to work out what p is. And if you read carefully, it says the two dice are thrown and they're thrown at the same time. And it says the probability of getting exactly one six is seven out of nine. So I need to think about how I can get exactly one six from my tree diagram when I'm throwing both dice at the same time. So let's take a look. There's a possibility that, possibility that when I throw the dice on the first go, I get 6, and on the second go, I get no 6 for the biased dice. Okay, and this is what we want because if we read the question properly, it says the probability of getting exactly 1 6 is 7 out of 9, and this is something that we can work with. The other way of getting just one six is by not getting a six on the fair dice and getting a six on the bias dice. So as you can see, there's two ways of getting just one six. Now, Once you've figured that out, then what you can do is just use the information to come up with an equation. So, 
on the first part we saw that to get a 6 and not a 6 then we can write that as the probability of getting 1 6 is equal to 1 over 6 times 1 take away p in the first instance and we're going to add the second way we can get just one six and the second way we can get just one six is five over six times one take away p my bad not one take away p but just p okay now if you don't know why i add it um the the keyword that we use whenever we doing probability is and and or when i'm throwing the dice and i want just one six okay and i look at my first instance i want a six and not a six and the keyword that i used here is and all right so when i'm using the keyword and then i multiply by probabilities and this is what i've done on these parts here now then I added something. I added the second probability. And the reason why I added the second probability is because it's either that one or this one. And when I use the keyword or, I have to add the probability. So that's why I've got the add here. So or, I can use this combination here, which is not a 6 on the fair dice and a 6 on the bias dice so I'm going to do 5 over 6 times P because I want not a 6 and a 6 so P I've times alright now once you've got your equation sorted you can just sort of write that neatly as 1 6 of 1 minus P plus 5 over 6 P and now if you go back to the question again it says that the probability of getting exactly 1 6 is 7 out of 9 so I can make that equal to 7 out of 9 okay oh, your next job is to expand the bracket here so we're gonna get 1 over 6 take away 1 sixth of p plus 5 sixth of p and if you collect the like terms here I've got 5 sixth of p take away 1 sixth of p so I'm left with 7 over 9 is equal to 1 sixth plus 4 sixth of p and now what I'm going to do is take the 1 6 to the other side so I get 7 over 9 take away 1 6 is equal to 4 6 of P and what I'm going to try to do now is simplify this side so let me just rub off some of the stuff that we've done before So coming back up here, we've got 7 over 9 take away 1 6. Is equal to 4 6 of P. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take away the two fractions there. Now we can see that the denominator is different. So what I need to do is find a common denominator for 9 and 6. And what I can do is multiply this by 6, and that one by 6, that one by 4, and that one by 4, to have the same common denominator. So that leaves me with 28 over 36, 
take away 6 over 36, which is equal to 4 sixths of p. 28 take away 6 is equal to 22 over 36, which is equal to 4 over 6 times p. If I now cross multiply the 6 with the 22, I end up with 22 times 6 over 36 is equal to 4p. Next, what I can do is just simplify my fraction. And I know for a fact 36 is 6 times 6, so I end up with 22 times 6 over 6 times 6, which is still equal to 4p. Cancel out the 6 and divide 22 by 2, and the 6 by 2, so I end up with 11 over 3 is equal to 4p. And finally, I'm going to cross multiply the 4 with the 3, so I end up with 11 over 12 is equal to p. And that's what p is equal to.